In late 1864, Augusta had armed men lined along the east wall of Magnolia Cemetery. They were ready because they had been told that the most ruthless, the most cold-hearted, the most ornery, vengeful, some said insane general in the Union Army was headed this way. That general, of course, was William Tecumseh Sherman. He had just whipped the rebels around Atlanta, leaving the city in flames. He was marching east, and Augustans didn't know what he was going to do to them. Well, now we know. He ignored us. But for many years, no one knew why. Then, Augusta Chronicle editor Pleasant Stovall sent a message to Sherman and asked. And in what could be the most famous letter to the editor ever sent to the Augusta Chronicle, Sherman answered in October 1888. Why, many had asked for almost a quarter century, had the dastardly Yankee general not attacked the city of Augusta during his famous March to the Sea? Speculation led to many theories. For most of the Southern men folk, it was obvious. Sherman was frightened of the powerful Augusta defenders. They were dug in and ready to show him firmer resolve than he had faced in Atlanta. The women, on the other hand, had a lot more to say. Let me get out my list. Sherman, who had been stationed as a young federal officer at the Augusta Arsenal, had an old girlfriend here, his only true love and save the town for her. Or, Sherman had an infant child who was buried here. The general wasn't married during his Augusta duties, but, well, you know, things happen. Sherman had secret orders from President Lincoln not to burn the town because it would destroy considerable stores of cotton. Those bales, one source said, belonged to the sister of Lincoln's wife, Mary Todd. The old general, then 68, seemed to enjoy himself in responding. Basically, the old war horse said he didn't attack Augusta because he didn't have to. It suited him just fine that every available man with a gun between him and his objective, the coast, would all collect in one spot, our town, and not delay his journey. He wanted to get to Savannah where he could be supplied easily. But then, being William Tecumseh Sherman, don't you love that middle name, he offered to correct the oversight if anyone in Augusta felt neglected. He said, if the people of Augusta think I slighted them in the winter of 1864, they are mistaken. Or, if they think I made a mistake in strategy, let them say so. And with the president's consent, I will send a detachment of 100,000 or so of Sherman's bummers and their descendants who will finish up the job without charging Uncle Sam a cent. The truth in these incidents come back to me in a humorous vein. So I guess he told us, and he got the last laugh too. <laughs>